Hello and welcome to this Gibbscam Tech Tip on Macro Installation. What I'm going to show you today is how to move all your macro folders into the uh, installation folders of Gibbscam for easy migration via the migration tool from version of Gibbscam to version of Gibbscam and how to register and implement the uh, macros. Um, if you don't know what macros are, well they are a great tool for enhancing the functionality within Gibbscam to automate those things that you do on your daily basis in your workflow. Okay, so with no more ado, let's go out here and we're gonna go to plugins within an open version of Gibbscam, your current version. We're gonna go to Pathfinder under system and under here in the Pathfinder dialog, we're looking for macros folder. We're gonna open that folder and it takes us out to the installation folder of Gibbscam for the macros. Well, I'm going to minimize Gibbscam and I'm going to open my archive folder of uh, macros here on the desktop and I'm going to drag and drop these folders into the installation folder and copy them over there. Okay, so now they're all there. Now we can go and uh, register these in Gibbscam. So we'll come back here to Gibbscam. Uh, let's Got the cut part render for a moment, and we're gonna go up here under macros, and we're gonna click on the configure button. It opens this macros dialog, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna browse out. It'll take us right back out to that uh, macros folder where we just were, and and copied in all our macros, and now we can go and find the macro file, which is actually a .mac executable file. I'm going to drag that over and drop it in place here, like so. I'm going to chrome bar back up and we'll do another one. Load vice advanced, .mac, um, back up again, and uh, let's do this uh, scale solid. And drag and drop that and you can see how easy that is okay so close this folder now and what we don't want to do is just red X out of this what we want to do is say okay and just click okay and that will register these as you can see in our macros list so uh, let's say it uh, first off we want to you know create a point on a face so we come down here and highlight this face, come back up here to macros and say create a point on the face. Seems kind of mundane, but can be quite useful at times. And you can see it creates a point in the geometric center of the face. Um, let's take a look at how we might quickly bring in a Kurt Weiss for fixturing. We're going to run this macro for a load of Kurt Weiss. Um, we're going to do it by grip distance and tell it we want to grip the part by a half inch. We're going to leave it centered in the stock. Um, we don't want to import it into the body bag because let's see what it looks like here on the screen with our part in it. Let's say OK. It brings in a Kurt Weiss. Part set in there in the manner in which we want. I hope you find this informative and uh, reach out to your local Gibbscam reseller. They will gladly help you with macro installations and advise you on how you might be able to achieve macro creations of your own, as well as access that information on the Gibbscam website.